really, last time I checked, Razorback was nowhere near ready to come. If you come in here and you check on, which one is it? Yeah, Invasions. It's down here and you can see the Fomorian is still far away. The Razorback was not that far behind it, uh, or ahead of it even. So, yeah, Razorback has returned. Razorback has returned, oh, fractures, to Pluto. So if we head over to Pluto, uh, it's going to steal everything from us, isn't it? The Razorback Armada is here. To get a hold of the cryptographic ALU to be able to build this, remembering the cipher has to go into your gear, you're going to have to do, is it, no, Neptune. There it is. Uh, if I set this to public and actually turn it back to normal instead of steel path, yes. You can see there are open squads here because sadly the cryptographic ALU, you have to do Arcwing missions to get these things to drop. There is other ones, that one, it just seems to be the easiest way to get this. So let's just jump in and take on Razorback. One thing to note, uh, the hyena pack will be here. There will also be a lot of bursas kicking around. So you need to be careful of oh, what you're doing here until you get there. It's not that hard of a mission to actually do. It is fairly easy to do these things. Then, there's Razorback. Razorback is invincible. You cannot hurt him. You have to go up there, hack the terminal. That will release a bursa from here. I have... That is actually... Whoa! Okay, Razorback. Seriously? Uh, take the bursa down. Hack the bursa. The bursa will then knock down Razorback. Then you can deal damage to it if you shoot it in the right place. I'm not shooting it in the right place whatsoever. Then, basically rinse and repeat this. Uh, probably better if you don't have Razorback sitting over the top of the area that you want to do this in. Um, because it just, it'll make things go so much easier without it. There we go. Um, nope. Uh, diesel. Ah, it's going to be one of the long ones because I'm using the wrong weaponry here. And down he goes. Goodbye, Razorback. We will see you again because you will have to do this battle three times. I'm going to shoot everything on my way out because, well, kind of still farming those resources. Razorback has a chance of dropping the dual stat arc wing mods. That is very, very useful. He also drops all of the pots required to build the Gorgon Wraith, the only way to get a hold of this weapon. As well as, well, there's the other heap. Ah, that's for Orc Melee though. So that's the only Orc Gun one. That is the one you basically want for Orc Gun because you can use Orc Guns in normal missions. Then there is the 120% puncture for Melee, Pistol, Rifle, Shotgun. All four of these also drop from him. They also drop from an Eidolon and one of the Mutalist incursions, but Razorback is honestly probably the easiest way if you are farming for the 120% puncture mods. It's the dual stat mods. Yes, Searing Steel is pretty useful, but Magma Chamber is way more useful because you can summon Orc Guns in normal missions now. Well, have been able to for quite a while now. I do like the fact that when you first get here, you're basically using the siphon to open the door to fight Razorback himself, and then he just kind of emerges from the floor, eventually. I just wish it didn't play this animation and you could just watch him come out of the floor sometimes. You will, as I mentioned, have to do this three times though. And after the third one, well, there's the Gorgon Wraith blueprint. Uh, it doesn't actually say I had that. I thought I had that. Apparently I didn't have that. But, after completing three, you will get your 200,000 credits and your Oroken Catalyst. Catalyst can always come in handy. If the Razorback Armada is allowed to reach the Orcus Relay on Pluto, they will destroy it, meaning Barrow can't turn up there. Would be a shame, because we're kind of running out of relays. we will rebuilt one. Out of all the ones that were destroyed, we've only rebuilt one. But, 200,000 credits and an Oroken Catalyst, worth doing this. It's just the... the Orcwing side of it can be quite a pain to do. Speaking of, that's where I'm about to head now, so we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.